New safety ratings are out on child booster seats that we told you about, and it's supposed to keep your children safer while riding in the car. This is the story we tried to bring you a few minutes ago. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety reveals its best bets, and they come across a wide range of prices. Here's Paula Toti. With so many options, the act of buying booster seats can be daunting for many, raising lots of questions about what's most important in a seat. The most important thing is that the the booster seat do a good job positioning the belts, and that means that the lap belt lie flat across the upper thighs and the shoulder belt sits snugly at the center of the shoulder, and that will provide the best protection in a crash. The latest review of booster seats from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety finds the quality of booster seats improving with more new models achieving their top best bet rating than any prior year. Out of 41 new models rated for 2014, 27 received the top rating of best bet and three were rated a good bet with options ranging in price from $25 to $370. Understand from manufacturers that they've made changes to their design, particularly to improve belt fit, which is what we're looking for with our ratings. While, While most children will be in booster seats, seats between ages 4 and 8, parents and caregivers should remember the progression from child seat to booster seat to adult seat belt should be based on height and weight rather than just age alone. Paula Toady, Local 12 News. Oh, well, we still got a couple of gremlins in there, but I <laughs> bet you got the gist of the story. The Institute says consumers should avoid the Olympia and Pacifica models. We'll be right back.